now one more thing to keep in mind you do need to decrease the time that is necessary for your jumps basically for the time that you can call the wolf and you do need more chances than two the most important talent that you can get from here is the fourth one okay so after you're going to be able to unlock the fourth one this one over here reset all reset all and consume all of your talent points over here upgrade everything because from here you're going to be able to jump quite quite fast welcome to idle games tv and we're going to go to crazy green well basically you're going to have a little red riding hood and you're going to have a quite quite nice nice time in this game so if you're going to watch the ad obviously get a double income but the idea would be that if you have played tail demon slayer this is a similar game okay so something like a road like mix with idol rpg but the idea would be that you're going to have only one main hero and you're going to be able to have a pet basically uh, one bad hero that eventually will accompany you if you will beat him now you're going to be able to choose between four different weapons and you're going to have the opportunity to choose between uh, the hammer over here the cannon the gloves and the harp now the harp basically is something like a wand this is the magic item obviously the gloves are something like the knives for the assassin now the cannon you know the idea the the guns and the big big hammer similar idea like in all the games now you will be able to have enough enough gear to do the merges in order for you to uh, start them up basically you're going to upgrade them from c to b to a from a to c and from c to ss to uh, from s my bad from a to s and from s to double s now if you're going to get the double s thing definitely you need to upgrade it because above ss you do not have anything at least now so try to go as further as you can the idea would be to play this game and the bad part and keep in mind the bad part is the fact that you're going to need to leave your phone on in the game in order for you to actually progress okay so you're going to be able to have a skill tree over here now the skill tree is for each specific weapon and not necessarily a tree but you're going to uh, unlock new and new features for each specific skill on each specific weapon so try to figure out which specific weapons will you choose now honestly i i would go for the harp and for the uh, gloves but i do not have a proper weapon for the gloves for the harp my bad so right now i'm using the gloves and the hammer because i have an s on the hammer and an ss for the gloves for the harp i have only a but my idea would be to use the harp and the gloves okay depending on what kind of ss item will you get when you're going to start playing it because you're going to have calendar and then on the seventh day if i'm not mistaken you're going to get an ss weapon now if you're going to get gloves or uh, or the harp definitely upgrade it unlock all the skills use that thing okay go for the gloves try to upgrade the gloves as much as you can now the character will go automatically you're going to be able to enhance over here and if you're going to go into the enhancement part you're going to be able to upgrade attack hp hp regeneration and you can watch up to four buffs now each specific buff if you're going to watch them they are going to offer you 30 minutes extra buff now every time you're going to watch it the percentage will get increased the good part is that the time will not get decreased if you're going to go offline so for example if i'm going to watch those four ads i will get 30 minutes of those buffs but if i will go offline for two days or so when i'm going to go back I will still have those buffs activated so the buffs the time for the buffs will only decrease when you're going to stay in the game keep that in mind now above the enhancement or b before that under the enhancement you're going to have the auto mode now you do want that to be uh, on auto mode because that's how your character will cast automatically the skills now on top of it on top of the enhancement you're going to have the magic mirror adventure now over here in the magic mirror adventure this is where you're going to be able to reset your progress now when you're going to reset your progress you're going to get feathers and the feathers are going to be used to get some passive let's say stats where where in the props now close to the magic mirror you're going to have the props 
Now over here you're going to have different kinds of classes. C, B, A, S, and obviously you know S, S ones. Now the idea would be to get those S ones, S, S ones unlocked. But in order for you to get those S, S ones unlocked, you're going to need to unlock all the ones from the S. But you do need to upgrade some of them. And the best ones would be over here in order for you to get the wolf's bursts. bursts. Now, the wolf is the one over here. On the top of the mirror, you're going to have the wolf. The wolf will automatically drive you faster through some stages. Depending on how many upgrades did you do, you're going to see at first 70 stages, if I'm not mistaken, and right now I have 100 stages for each specific person. So here it is. I'm on the wolf. I'm going to cast three over here in order for it to drive me to the maximum. Now, right now, I'm at the maximum that I was previously to this video at 950. Now, I'm going to go over here in the enhancement option. I'm going to try to enhance. And let's hope that I will be able to pass this uh, boss over here. Most probably I will. But if not, don't bother staying over here. Try to reset your progress. Try to get as many feathers as you can and afterwards come back come back come back now one more thing to keep in mind you do need to decrease the time that is necessary for your jumps basically for the time that you can call the wolf and you do need more chances than two when you're going to start the game progress here it is when you're going to lose the game will automatically uh, put you five levels previous to the one that you couldn't pass so i was at 950 and they drove me to 910 it is not worth it for me to stay over here although i will make enough coins and i will do enough upgrades for the flat stats to the attack hp it's not worth it and try to go over here in the mirror enter it i will reset my game progress and over here i have three gateways okay select one i always went for the third one it doesn't matter 380 it depends on the number you will see a locked in and from here although i ended up over here i will start and i will click it and I will lose all of my jumps okay now 400 uh, 400 stages 796 almost 800 and keep in mind in order for me to get one uh, one jump ticket let's say I need only 50 minutes and when you're going to start the game you're going to need up to 30 minutes so definitely you need to do some proper upgrades over there now, go into the enhancement part, try to upgrade your health a bit, obviously you do not want to die on the road, and try to upgrade your attack. Now, right now, the little red riding hood will do the thing. Now, in the summoning part, you're going to have the equipment. Summon in order for you to get better and better equipment. Every 50 uh, times that you're going to summon equipment, you're going to be able to get uh, on the top of the screen a, uh, let's say, free thing. Try to... Uh, claim it when you're going to see the S S thing. So right now try to claim it. If you're going to see only S, not click it. I tried it and actually I don't know if it has a really important thing or not, but when I clicked on S I got S and when I clicked twice on S S once I got twice the S S once. Okay? So try to go for that. Magic lamp over here, you're going to be able to make some wishes. And over here you're going to place some magic lamps depending on the rarity. And from the magic lamps, you're going to get boss fragments. I'm going to show you in a bit. Now, uh, over here are the lamps. You're going to place them over here, turn on, and they will go over here enough time in order for you to unlock them. Now, in the summoning part over here. Now, if you're going to do those summons over here, you're going to be able to get some specific things. This is this mystic cancer magic. Uh, mystic area magic and so on now those things you're going to go and you're going to go into the no the talent my bad the custom oh, my bad forgot where to uh, place them oh i know i know i know so on the top of the screen where you can see that cute cute little pet that i don't know what it is under the buffs on the right side under your gems you will see the buffs under the buffs you will see a cute cute pet if you're going to click it lark the cat and this is a cat come on okay so you're going to have this uh, interesting buffs that you're going to be able to place one click upgrade here it is okay basically they are going to merge the ones that are lower so if you're going to click on one you're going to see that has an effect on a specific weapon or weapon my bad or on a specific um, 
uh, let's see on on a specific uh, type of element okay so watch out for that also now obviously if you're going to get uh, the opportunity to get more stars over here or rarer ones it will be better but try to place the ones that you're going to need and you're going to have the tame option in the accompanying bosses now if you're going to fight with them eventually you're going to unlock them and afterwards you're going to be able to get fragments and with those fragments you're going to be able to level them up obviously if you're going to level them up they're going to be stronger simple simple thing now in the companion part this, those are the things my bad okay the elves are the ones that are going to help you over here okay now the wish i don't know why it's unlocked over here but this is not yet a full game so definitely more and more upgrades to come now in the town option now we're here uh, honestly coming soon coming soon quite a lot a lot of things that are going to come soon but the idea would be in the trials that you have up to four dungeons let's say the first one is going to be with gold and you're going to have uh, the maximum amount of two tickets for each specific dungeon now over here what you're going to want to do you're going to want to do a trick so over here if you're going to jump and you're going to have only one ticket or two it doesn't matter but if you're going to consume your tickets you're going to end up with zero but you're going to have a chance to watch an ad to jump one more time into that dungeon my idea would be every time you're going to have one ticket consume it watch an ad don't wait for you to have two tickets every time you're going to have one ticket jump into that dungeon afterwards watch the ad in order for you to uh, enter the dungeon again in order for you to collect the resources now the best dungeon that uh, I would hope for over here would be the equipment dungeon because you're going to need the equipment now the equipment the classes of the equipment that you're going to be able to place on your hero will offer you some flat stats and I'm going to show you in a bit after I'm going to exit over here so depending on the uh, now letter that you're going to have on all of your equipment you will get some uh, stats some extra stats that you're going to be able to use in the main game so if uh, let's go back in the town in order for me to show you what I meant over here with the ads so over here if I'm going to watch the ad I'm going to jump again I'm not going to watch the ad but in the character mode you can see that I have over here equipment buff so depending on the letter that I have I will get for example critical damage plus 30% now that is definitely awesome oh so three S's okay honestly didn't want that far so three S's over here my bad regarding that part so b plus 300 for the attack a critical rate critical damage for s attack percent 120 percent definitely quite cool now keep in mind you do want all all to be the same so honestly i need to upgrade this thing so i will need to go into the town to go into the trial and the last one equipment trial and try to fight over here as much as i can watch ads after ads in order for me to get more and more equipment now in the shop you're going to be able to watch ads over here 10 ads per day to get those 30 gems 300 gems although it's not that much it will count a bit now in the skill department i mentioned something but in the talent the most important talent that you can get from here is the fourth one okay so after you're going to be able to unlock the fourth one this one over here reset all reset all and consume all of your talent points over here upgrade everything because from here you're going to be able to jump quite quite fast quite quite faster and it's going to be easier for you to reset the progress on and on and on this is the most important thing in the game upgrade everything over here okay now if you're going to do that you will be able to reset your progress faster obviously get more feathers obviously unlock more and more talents so on so on and so on now guys if you have played it and finished it or reached further drop a comment let me know in the comments below until next time be safe out there bye